guys in this lesson we are going to display a list of all the users notifications let's get started the first thing we want to do is in the views we're going to create a users folder and then we're going to add notifications that blade that php and i want it to inherit from the main layout and just copy the home that blade and paste right there but this title of this card is going to be notifications okay so i'm going to go to the users controller we created in the last lesson and here we need to mark all the notifications as red because the user is visiting this page right so we're going to say auth user and then we can call on red notifications and then it's going to give us a collection of all on red notifications and we're just going to call the mark as red function as easy as that okay so like that we've already marked all conversations or notifications as red that's from the database yeah next thing we're just going to return view and this is going to be users dot notifications and here i'm just going to return notifications to that view file and this is going to be user notifications okay and since we want the user or we could just use auth user right here okay no need to create a variable that's it so now if we come here let me just refresh we need to link from this to that file okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come to the app.blade.php and make sure that this links to the route for viewing all user notification so i'm gonna say route and the name of this route is going to be users dot notifications okay and we have to give this route name in the routes file so web dot php and then name is going to be that now if i refresh click on this you can see i'm taken to this page but we we now have zero on red notifications but i think i had to refresh again but i think that's okay right so it marks us red but then since the view is not refreshed yet it doesn't show it but that's fine i don't think we have to worry about that so now we have to just display a list of all notifications for this user so i'm just going to come to the notifications blade and i think we can paginate the results let me try this okay paginate and then we're just going to paginate by five pages if i refresh everything still looks good let's come here and loop through each of them so for each and i'm just going to say notification as notification and for each and here i'm just going to say echo out notification type like that refresh great so we can see the different notifications type right there so we have two notifications reply added and reply added okay so what do we want to do in this case we're gonna have an unordered list but first i'm just gonna add the unordered list here dot list group okay refresh our unordered list is there then i'm gonna have an li dot list group item and i'm just gonna print out notification type refresh great so you can see a list of notifications right there but we can't have the notification type like this because it's not really useful for the user okay so what we want to do is we can have an if statement so we can say if notification type is equal to this class and if what we're going to do here is we're going to print a message so we're going to say a new reply was added to your discussion okay and then we can go ahead and have a button so an a dot button dot button small dot button info that goes to the discussion page to view the reply so i'm just gonna say view reply let's leave the route for now so here i'm just gonna say view discussion actually okay then i'm just gonna refresh so you can see we have a new reply was added to your discussion and then the view discussion button okay so now i'm just gonna float this right float right refresh great then we can come right here 
and using the data we saved in the database we can display the details of this discussion let me just show you i'm just going to print out notification data right here refresh and yeah it's an array so we can do that so i'm just going to say discussion so that it gives me an object and then level is going to cast it to a json ah and it didn't okay so i guess it's true an object okay let me show you what we're going to do okay to see that data, we're going to come to the user's controller right here. And then I'm just going to die dump odd user notifications. Okay. So if I refresh this page, you can see the list of notifications right there. Okay. Now, if you check out the data. Okay. So it's a JSON string, as you can see. Okay. Now I'm just going to get the first. So we just see one instance. And if you check out there, we have the data. And if I print out data, refresh, you can see it gives us that as an array. Lavo automatically cast it. Okay. Now on that data, we can get discussion. And if I refresh, you can see we have the discussion right there. And finally, on the discussion, we can get the slog. And this is how we're going to do it. We get slog. Refresh. Awesome. So, Using a controller, we can test to see exactly how to get the property we need from the notification. Awesome. So if we go back to our notifications blade, to be able to see the slog, we need to be able to get data, discussion, and then we get slog like this. And now if we refresh, on define index discussion. Okay, and I know why we are receiving this. Let me show you. Remember in the last lesson, when we were trying out the notification, the first one did not have a discussion. Okay, and that's why we have that error. So since we know that in real life, we're not going to have this notification without discussions, we're just going to refresh our database. So add migrate refresh seed. Then I'm just going to refresh. The user is not authenticated, so we have that error. So I'm just going to come right here, register a new account. We have no unread notifications. I'm just going to create a new discussion. Okay. Then I'm just going to come here and register a new account for a new user, John Doe. Then the email is going to be john at doe.com, password and password. Awesome. So now I'm going to view this conversation, add a reply. And that's going to send an email to the user, right? And great, the notification has been sent. So now let's visit the application, refresh, and we can see that that user has one on red notification. So I'm going to click on that. A new reply was added to your discussion. And advanced VGS from scratch is the slog that we displayed right here. Okay, so you can see discussion slog. So we can even do something like discussion title just to have a strong message right there. Let me show you. So if I refresh, so a new reply was added to your discussion, advanced VGS from scratch. Okay. And then the user clicks here to see the discussion. So what do we do right here? We're going to add an href, which is going to be a route to view that discussion. So this is going to be discussions dot show okay and then here we're gonna pass in the discussion slog so we're gonna say notifications data discussion then slog like that so if i refresh this you can see a new reply was added to your discussion advanced regions from scratch and then click on that and then you can view the discussion isn't that awesome so if i come back right now let's go ahead and do the reverse this user is going to add a conversation or a discussion and then add it to angular channel create discussion and then this user is going to view that discussion so let's just go ahead and add a margin on this page so i'm just going to come to discussions index.blade.php and i'm just going to have a margin y of four okay so maybe margin bottom refresh great so if I view this discussion by John Doe, I'm going to add a reply. Okay. So once we leave that reply, if you check out MailTrap, you can see that a few seconds ago, an email was sent to john at doe.com. 
so we have to modify the form so that it doesn't look like this but you can see that it's sent to this email and if we check out John's account you can see John has one on red notification if John checks out his on red notifications you can see a new reply was added to your discussion what are components and you can view the discussion right there awesome so we have notifications for all of our users and it works perfectly so the next time the user is trying to visit the application you can see that the notifications are marked to zero all right guys so that was really awesome thank you so much for watching 